Okay, I see her mic now come back up. Is that her? I thought I heard her. No, that's someone with either 251 or 281 number. She's the only one unmute, unmuted now. I don't know what the issue is. Not, I don't know. Um, Does she normally come in on her phone? She said she was on the um, <laughs> Yeah, she's I don't know what it is. Um. I'll talk to her. Um, I'll talk to her. I'll tell her to dial in. On the phone. Let me see. See, see if she can dial me in from the phone. So that nine two nine number must do work for um, people to dial in. That's one I just sent them. I'm thinking that one didn't change. So whatever number is on that invite, she should be able to dial. Whatever, in. yeah, but um. Do you see where she went out? No. Uh -huh. I don't have a phone number. Gentlemen talk through messenger. I mean, I haven't even ever seen her before. What did you say? Sharika had sent her a text and said for me to call her and put her on speakerphone. I said I have I don't have her number. We talk through messenger. She I haven't even ever seen her before. She came across me on Facebook. So, but I'll get with her, um, she'll reach back out to me. I was just going to give her an opportunity to express the Lord has been um, really, really moving in, in, um, in her life. And so I wanted her to actually just be able to speak to y'all so y'all could get acquainted with her voice and she could get acquainted with y'all because, you know, um, she's in a place of needing the support. So that's why, that's why I wanted her to, um. To be able to say something, so we'll make sure that we we get her in, we'll get it all figured out, and be able to get her. Hold on one second. She just asked me what's the ID. What was it? Four five two seven six three one one seven zero. I think. Yeah, I think that's it. Let me see. I think she's trying to call in now. really wanted her to be able to um you know at least just say something
to see if somebody else comes on. If a different number comes in. Papasa, you see a 850 number? That's her, but she's in the same room with her other one. Mm. Hello? Hello? We can hear you. Good morning. Good afternoon. I'm sorry. Um, it's an echo. Can you all hear me? Okay, that's yes. better. That's good. Okay. Sorry about all the difficulties. But uh, my name is Antoinette, and I live in Tallahassee, Florida. And um, I had circumstances allowed me to reach out to um, to Pastor Lee. And um, when I reached out to her, I thank God that she had a heart to respond to me. And it was at a, actually, I'm still at a very low point, but at that time, it was at a very needed time. And um, I just wanted to um, follow her and follow, really, the spirit of God, actually, because I don't know her, but I, I feel I, as though God connected me with her in spirit. And uh, she has been very fruitful to me as far as with the word. And... Um, I ask you all to, um, I guess, pray for me just for, I really don't have a particular thing. It's just that I, I dealt with some trauma in February, and um, it placed me at a very different place, um, a very unwanted place, different. So it's like um, circumstance changed my life in a matter of, 30 minutes or so, and it has, and I never have my old life back because it has changed my window, and um, that's kind of it, that's kind of where I'm at, just um, trying to stabilize pretty much. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. And that's pretty much it, thank you. <laughs> well, amen. And I'm glad Pastor's been an instrument of encouragement, and we're all going to keep you lifted up. And amen. Yeah. Thank you. She, even, even in the midst of what, you know, I've been going through, she has been, um, she's been reaching out to me, you know, every day. Like I said, I haven't ever seen her before. Um, she don't even have a picture on Facebook. It's just a blank thing. Uh, so, I haven't I haven't seen her before, but she's been very faithful to, you know, to checking on me and, um, you know, being a part of what what I have going on. So I thank God for the connection, and I do pray that I can be uh, an instrument to um to help her, you know, because like she said, she really she went through something in February. She's being honest about it. So her name is Antoinette. Um, so I wanted y'all to hear her voice, and let's. Make her very welcome. Um, you'll see her on now. She's on my page. It's Antoinette Thomas Thompson. Thompson, I think it. Yeah. Yeah, Thompson. Thompson. Yeah. So you see her on my page. You know, show her some love. Um, you know, let her know she she's connecting into a family of people that you know really want to display the love of God and to be able to help to the best of our ability to get her through this what she's dealing with. So, we've had a very good time, y'all. Uh, we've been really, really blessed tremendously. The hand of the Lord has been among us. The power of God has flowed in and through and also among us. So, we're receiving that and we're going to be t partakers of that that the Lord has sown in order for us to see good fruit manifest in our lives. So, if it's nothing else, I'm going to move to the next phase of what I need to do, which is probably in the recliner. So, um, and just look cute. So, y'all already know what time it is. <laughs> oh, it just look cute. So, y'all know what time it is, but this was recorded on... Um, yeah, go ahead. How do I sow into the ministry? 
Um, okay, what methods you want to do it by? Cash out, PayPal, by mail? How you want to do it? Okay, if you got cash out, what I do is is I'll um I'll send it to your inbox. It's Antoinette, right? Mm-hmm. I send yeah. it. I send it to your. I send it to your inbox. Thank you for coming. Yes, ma'am. So um, but yeah, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to the um to the recliner and just um kick back and absorb everything that's done came in today that the Lord has spoken to us and just you know look cute. So. Y'all have a wonderful day. I love y'all. Uh, yeah. Before you leave, um, I want to say, like, being that we're getting ready to do some evaluating within ourselves, it's going to be a tough thing for all of us to do. So it was in the scripture about going and checking on each other, make sure everybody's okay. So um, as we transition into whatever it is that God has taken us to, too, that we need to learn that it's okay to reach out to other people, to make ourselves available to other people, because you never know you know, what position the other person is in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Amen, Uh-huh. Yeah. So that's the reason why I remember, um, what, about a month or two ago, we did an updated list with people numbers and stuff on it. So y'all need to get among yourselves and make sure that you got everybody's number or some kind of means to contact each other. So that you can check on each other if it's nothing but, you know, I've heard some of y'all talk about how just a text have just really blessed your heart. So, um, you know, y'all need to make sure that you check on each other to make sure everything is fine. Because that's what the officers did, right? Yep. And those that are not on that list, be sure you just you're not, you have not actually fully connected. Do you want to just add your name to that list? Who do you want to reach out to? You can get up with um. They can get up with uh, Sharika. Okay. Yeah, you can get up with Sharika. Sharika, if you need some help with some of that stuff, designate somebody. I'm quite sure um Vicky, you know Toy, and they they won't mind helping you. I'm just saying you because that's just what I'm used to. So, but I'm not trying to overload you. So if you need some help with that, I think Vicky was the one that actually did the list. Matter of fact, but most people are probably not used to. But those of you that hear me now, um, you hear me say Vicky, but on Facebook, she's Rosalind uh, Connor Jones, I think it is. Rosalind Connor Jones. So, you know, you can reach out to her, Sharika, however, and get your, get your name, your number, put on that list. And that just means that they're going to keep in touch with you and plus give you other people's numbers. So, in case something is going on, if you need to chit chat or whatever, you have access to each other. That's what, that's family. That's what family does. Okay, so if we don't have anything else, like I said, I'm going to go sit in here. I'm going to cut me a piece of this cake Toy you made because I ain't ate the first slice of it yet. So I'm going to cut me a piece of cake. I'm going to sit down in here in the recliner, and I'm going to look cute. I'm put some lotion on my feet first because they ashy. I don't want to look at them like that. And I'm going to look cute sitting in this chair. So I'll catch you all later on. I appreciate you, Apostle. I love you. Thank you.